Now, hear this. Please, don't be confused. Platelet counts have similarities with RBC and similarities with what? WBC. The question now is, what are those similarities? Any idea? All right, let me tell you the similarities. But before I tell you, let me give you the principles. You know the principle of WBC, right? No. When whole blood is diluted in an acid reagent, I'm talking of WBC now. The principle of WBC count. When whole blood is what? Diluted in what? An acid reagent. Red cells are what? Hemolyzed, leaving the white cells to be what? Counted. And what is that acid reagent? Top solution. Especially what? Glacial acetic acid. That is the acid reagent. So what does that reagent do? Lice, RBCs, and leave white cells to be what? The same thing with platelets. What is the diluent used for platelet count? 1% ammonium oxalate. How do you get that? 1 gram of ammonium oxalate dissolved in what? 99 mils of distilled water. You have your what? 1% of what? Ammonium oxalate. It is the same thing. It what? Lysis red cells, just like the WBC, just like the top solution, and leaves what? The platelets to be counted. So your diluent for platelets is what? 1% ammonium oxalate. Your diluent for WBC is what? Tox solution, while your diluent for RBC is what? For more citrates. Now, the principle for RBC is what? When whole blood is diluted in an isotonic solution. What's an isotonic solution? A solution of the same osmotic pressure. Okay? Yes. That's to say, it is of the same salt concentration. Both the, the blood and what? The diamonds. So, what happens? It allows the RBCs to be what? Counted. Because it is what? An isotonic solution which is friendly to all blood cells. Okay? So, while the RBC reagent is friendly, that of platelets and WBC are what? Unfriendly. They don't accept WBC. They don't accept RBC. So that's the difference between the three of them. Okay? Now, when counting WBC counts, there are some things you need to take note of. Have you? Have you been told about the L and the 7 method? Yes. Okay, no need to talk about it. 7 and what? Now, let me, let, 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 me, let me confuse you further. In those days, there was this manual I went through. And the, the manual said, you use what? Here and here, right? Or here and here. But I saw another one many years ago. That you use what? Here and here. Or what? Here and... I'm just saying it because I believe you can talk the seven and the other method. Are you also informed that each of the counting areas are surrounded by triple lines? I was expecting a loud yes. Mm -hmm. Under the time stand objective. Now, hear this if you've never heard this. When counting WBC counts, you use what? Lower magnification, which is what? Time stand objectives. That's one. <coughs> Secondly, you also need to know that all the four large corner squares 
are surrounded by triple lines. What do I mean? One, two, triple lines. Something like this. Okay? Triple lines, triple lines, triple lines. So, how do you know you are properly focused? How do you know you are properly focused? When all the 16 squares are visible alongside the triple lines, remember, when filling your chamber, do not allow excess to fall into that H-shaped trough. Have you been told? Yes. Yes, you don't allow it to fall into that H-shaped trough. If you do that, these triple lines will not appear. Okay? That is why you use what? Your cutting wool to do what? To drain excess. Anything that does not fall within that counting area. That counting area is called a void. Anything that doesn't fall here. You use your what? Cutting wool to what? Drain it out. It will help you a great deal. Use your cutting wool to drain it out. And then you place it to for the cells to what? Settle down. Don't forget, when you mix your 0 0.02 mil of blood with the diluent, be it formal citrate, ammonium oxalate, or what? Talk solution. You mix it properly. You know why? For platelets, let me tell you one thing about platelets. Platelets have a strange character. 